Hi everyone, I'm Teresa Ramirez, your Kindness Ambassador, and welcome to Journey in Kindness. And today I want to ask you a question. Would your child do this if you weren't around to help nudge them along? What am I talking about? Well, today I'm kind of talking about last week I did, I did a post in my Facebook group, Journey in Kindness group, and it was about um, a high school senior who was homecoming queen, and I think it's the runner-up, um, she ended up just hand giving her crown to the runner-up. And I thought, gosh, that was really sweet, but there was more to the story. The runner-up was had lost her mother that morning. So this is homecoming game night. That morning, she had lost her mother. Her father was her escort. And as a gesture of kindness, a gesture of goodwill, the homecoming queen gave her crown to the other girl. Now, I think that was huge and that helped ease that girl's suffering. You know, it's hard enough to lose your mom when you're older, but when you're a teenager losing your mom, that's just super, super hard. And the other, the homecoming queen showed her true integrity, her true colors, and shared her crown with the other one. What about something smaller? What about something you're in, your child is in the school cafeteria and there is a child with a disability and they're struggling to carry that lunch tray. Would your child jump up and help them carry that lunch tray? I know a child that did, but would your child? Um, I have a couple examples I wanted to go through. What about something simple as somebody dropped a pencil in the hallway, in the classroom? Would your child think to pick it up and hand it back? These are just little things, but they mean a lot to the person that is on the receiving end of that. And just like the homecoming queen, there are people that are watching that exchange of kindness. And like I've told you before, serotonin levels are rising. The observers, the witnesses, their serotonin levels are rising. Those are the happy hormones. So you're making an entire stadium at that point <laughs> full of people happy. You're making an entire classroom of people happy by picking up that pencil. Your child is making an entire cafeteria of children happy because they carry a tray. These are all such simple, every day to day things that your child can do. So as the CEO of your family, are we making sure that we're teaching our children through the day-to-day -day activities how to be kind? So what would your child do in any of these situations? Please comment below, I would love to hear. If you like this video, please hit like and share, I'd really appreciate it. And I will see you next Tuesday.